Today is a short video on comparing anaerobic respiration with aerobic respiration. So let's start with the reactants. Well, in anaerobic respiration, we know that the only reactant is glucose. We do not require oxygen for anaerobic respiration. That's why it occurs, because we don't have any oxygen. Aerobic respiration, however, requires both glucose and oxygen. What are our products of anaerobic respiration? Well, in animals, remember our product is lactic acid. And in yeast, our product is ethanol and carbon dioxide. In aerobic respiration, our products are carbon dioxide and water. How about our energy yield? Remember, anaerobic respiration is very inefficient. It creates very little ATP. In fact, you're making just two molecules of ATP per one molecule of glucose used. Aerobic respiration, however, is much more efficient, creates much more ATP, and creates between 36 and 38 molecules of ATP per glucose molecule used. Where are these processes taking place? Well, anaerobic respiration is taking place in the cytosol, as this is where glycolysis is taking place. And aerobic respiration is taking place both in the cytosol and in the mitochondria. Finally, what are the stages involved in both of these processes? Well, anaerobic respiration produces ATP through glycolysis and then undergoes fermentation to regenerate your NAD+. Aerobic respiration, on the other hand, undergoes a number of stages as we've already covered in a different video. These are glycolysis, the link reaction, Krebs cycle, and finally oxidative phosphorylation using an electron transport chain. That's it for today. A brief comparison of the two types of respiration is a really good idea to get your head around these. The differences between the